disappointing. Okay, another big dub. Let's keep going. Good stuff. Four and a half, one and a half. Um, let's play the Trump house key even against D5. Why not? Trump house key is a good opening. Everybody loves it, right? We all love our Trump house key. Um, now, Bishop F4 and Bishop H4 are both lines. I believe Bishop H4, this is like a really sharp line. There's like some Knight H6, Knight F5. I used to play this line with black, actually. And it gets really, 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 really sharp. I think E3 and like Bishop G3 and H, H5, H4. There's also Bishop E2. Like this line is very wild. Do I want to play Bishop E2 is also a question. I don't remember what the exact valuation of it is, so I'm going to play this. This is a very wild line, just so you guys know. Yeah, it's check and Bishop F4. And then g5 and then you go like e4 and bishop c1 and this just gets wildly out of control very very quickly i don't even remember what the objective valuation of this is um but i do remember it's it gets extremely sharp play ali reza all day and get to eighth king c6 is not the move though i don't think wait i mean maybe i mean i mean theory has changed since since my day of playing chess obviously but King c6 is not the move. I think you're supposed to go e6, king e7, and everything else. But, okay, this is going to be a wild game, which is kind of what I want, actually. Now, I could take. I guess I'll just take, because I can take with a b-shop. It's very messy. I mean, I go, like, bishop c2, and very, very dank. The king does look funny, but queen a4 is b5. I mean, there's probably something the computer likes. Now, I could take on g5, and also just play, like, not knight d2. I think... Bishop c2 gives him knight d6. If I take right away... No, but I think this is correct. Hit the pawn. If e3, I just take and go knight f3. I also have a check. Hard to judge, though. Very, very hard to judge. And do I take with a bishop or not is also a question. I think I'll just take with a bishop. It's not what I wanted to do, but I think it makes sense because I go knight f3. I is g4, which I missed. Let's go here, try to put my knight on c4, maybe. I could have thrown in a check first. Probably I should have. Okay, he goes king c5. If I take, he has rook e8 or something. I play bishop d3. I guess I'll just take and play like knight d3 and knight e2, and we'll see what happens. I also have b4 check, I just realized as well. I go b4, king d5, knight f7. What the heck is going on? b3, rookie one. <laughs> it's too weird. Knight f7, bishop e3, rook d1. I don't know. I, I'm going to go for it. This probably is wrong, but whatever. It's too weird. Let's go check. Because king e6, I'm going to check and go like knight e2 and rook f1. So this is going to be very, very strange. I think there's an algephon for the 19. Go check. The knight e2 and then rook f1. I mean, I don't know what's going on here, but it's going to be wild. Mm, he does have knight c6, which I didn't see check probably i have to play b5 it's not the move i wanted to play but i think i have to do it i go knight d8 to go after everything there's i thought there was rook f7 for a second but it doesn't work yeah this is very strange what is this threat is there an actual threat here is what i'm trying to figure out like if i play rook d5 i also go g3 yeah, I'm, I'm don't, I don't have good moves is the problem. And I have seven, bishop f5. I guess I'll go here anyway. It's like the only move. I don't know what I'm going to do here. G3, logical move. I, I assume I take... Play rook f3 here, knight f4. I mean, again, probably this is bad for me. Bishop, how do I stop bishop g4? Uh, maybe... No, not, uh, no, knight f7 just loses. 
Yeah, I messed this up. I think I was actually better probably for like a split second. Oh, and somehow I have no time, I just realized, yeah. How do I have no time? I mean, I guess I used all my time, right? <laughs> I have check, check. Um, let's go here. Yeah, I'm too low on time. I just lose. Yeah, I'm just too low. I got too low on time there. Let's play one more. One more to make an even eight. Let's play e5. Play c6 here. I, I need to move a little bit quicker in that middle game. But my, my decisions were probably were just bad. Let's play queen b6. D5 and takes. Thank you so much, annoying mouse thing, and Margaret thing, and Desert Goth. Um, I believe Bishop G4 is supposed to be fine here. Knight A6, and Knight C5, and Knight D3. I also believe H5 is supposed to be a reasonable move here too, but I could be crazy. I think the idea of H4. Let's go H4. Huh. It doesn't look right, but it's just I just gotta move though. I, I can't I can't get like super long clock and then just like fall apart the way I did last game. Logical. I assume I should play rook d8 here. Looks right at least. Maybe it's not right, though. Starting to question my choice in this game a little bit. Yeah, logical move. I mean, I really want to kind of sack almost, but... I mean, I guess I can castle if I want to, but I... I've just got to, I just got to come up with moves. So I think I'm just going to play rook d7 and queen d8 just to get the king out of dodge. I don't even know if it's right, but it makes sense just to get the king to safety. Doesn't actually. It's a bad move, but... I take. Go with knight a4, queen d8. This is shaky. I'm hanging by a thread here, but this could get really bad really quickly. I do have rook c7, though. Wait. I go rook c7... A knight c5, maybe? He might have missed this, actually, because I have knight c5 here, and I'm hanging, 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 hanging by a thread again. Go here. I'm going to take with the rook. I could have taken with the bishop, too, but I was worried about some b6 trick. Of course, I should have, because now he gets rook b1, and maybe I just go here. I can go bishop d7 and castle. I think I'm okay here. And it goes there. I go back. g4. Just castle, of course. Oh my gosh. I just hung. Oh, jeez. I just hung that. Really? Take. I have bishop h2 with the fossil. Not very smart of me. But I have knight g5. I mean, there, there are tricks here again. Like queen e4, I have queen g5 even. Do I t take with the queen or the knight? Not knight takes. Do I play bishop g2 or do I just take? Uh, no, but I'm up on clock here, so I shouldn't really panic. I think I should just take. Should be correct. Yeah, four is a good move. I'm play queen g3 and trade, I guess. I also take, but I don't love it. I'm a little bit worse. Do I have bishop f4? No, I don't. Drop back. Okay. Oh, this is bad. 
guess I'll go b6, which is also a bad move too. Yeah, I'm just throwing, or I have rook d5 maybe? I can play g5. I think I'll go g5 first, force the trade. And I have 96 maybe. Hack the bishop. He's got to go like knight f3. I get rook b5. I mean, I have chances to draw this at the very least. But that doesn't mean I will draw it. Go back. I get knight c5 maybe. So let's drop back. Got to move. Got to move though. Let him off the hook. I should have been able to flag him. I let him off the hook. Let him off the hook completely there. But I was also losing too, to be fair. So, like, to be fair, I was losing. So I, I shouldn't really complain that much. Um, let's play f3. Play here, rook c1, of course. Yeah, I mean, I, I was losing, to be fair. So I shouldn't really be too, like, too mad about it, but... It's still annoying. Um, uh, wait a second. Okay, let's reset. Go here. Things versus the, the stream saber for the 12th thing, Joba Yoyu for the prime. Okay, I can take um, and play like Bishop B5, I thought. Yeah, I think I can do this, right? I go bishop b5, and I mean, this isn't the dream, but it's kind of okay. So I have rook c6 and king c3. Yeah. I mean, probably just castles, and it's, eh, it's not the dream, but it's playable at least. Goes rook b8, which is also an interesting move. I can play f4 here, maybe. I can also take and play queen c2. What about... I don't want to burn too much time here, so... Let's go f4, keep it simple. Probably I'm going to take and go like king e2 at some point, okay? Do I have f5 here also? Oh, I'm playing this very poorly. I can already feel it. And I'm using way too much time again. I take and go like... Oh, this good g3. I mean, I'm too long. And I give him g5 again. I give him the second repeat. What the heck was that? I mean, maybe I'm okay here, but I, I don't like it. Play rook f2 is rook h3. I'll just go here, maybe king d3. So I can take the knight. But I misplayed this. Getting very sloppy here as the match drags on. It's king f8. I mean, I think I have knight c5. I hope I have knight c5. I could have taken and played queen d1 too, which probably I should have done, because now I don't have any good moves. 
Or wait, I do have 97 maybe? Probably, I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's probably some way I'm just losing here, but maybe he won't find it. Because knight d4, I just take with the king, and I think I'm okay. It goes rook c8. So if I take and play knight e5, just goes rook c7, and I have no good moves, of course. Yeah, it's just garbage by me. Yeah, getting too sloppy here. Does that even do it? Doesn't even do anything. Ah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it does why did I even do that? It doesn't do anything. Sure, I'm losing here somehow to something. I don't know if it's Rook C1. I don't know if it's something else, but. I assume I'm, I can't. Oh, no, this, what am I doing? This just doesn't work. Okay, last one. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting really, really sloppy here at the end. I don't think his opening was good last game, so I'll play the same thing. D5. And now I think I play h5. Yeah. I thought I could just take and take. Oh yeah, even this doesn't look right somehow. The rook d8 to guard the pawn. Hmm. Queen c2, logical. I can again play bishop d6. Bishop e7 is fine. I don't really want to play bishop f3. Bishop h3 is maybe a move, actually. I'll play bishop h3. It goes bishop g2. Takes bishop e7. If takes, I just take. Is he disconnected or something? Why is he suddenly thinking? Is he looking at queen a4 or something? Ah, oh, he is. Seems like a strange move to me. Uh, I see his idea, though. Okay, now I understand his idea, though. He's looking for some rook f6 silliness, I think. Let's go here. I think there was a stock jock for the raid with 312. I just realized I could have maybe taken the pawn, too. But if I go g6... Knight g7... I think I just dropped back. I think I'm okay with this. Assuming I'm not hanging material, which I don't think I am. Yeah, I don't think I'm hanging anything here. Thanks so much for the raid. Thanks so much, Stock Jock. Very hard to judge, though. Could have gone Bishop f8, g7, too, maybe, but okay, whatever. It goes back to d4. So. What is this threat? There's no actual threat here. Other than the fact that my, I can't castle because the rook takes f6. So how do I stop that? Queen a6 is obviously a move. It's not the move I want to play. Okay, so I'm thinking too long again. I guess I'll just go a6. I don't even know if it's right, but I, I'm thinking too long. I can play h4. I think I'm going to go h4 here. I'm going to go, what, rook d1, rook f1 or something? Oh, no, don't disconnect me. Not now. Oh, no, not now. I mean, any other time but now. Okay, b5, I, I mean, 
Okay, the question is, do I take? I assume I should, should obviously take. Play a5 here. He's knight b3, but I have knight h5. Oh, no, I have queen e6, actually. I have queen e6 and queen h3. Wait, I have tricks. I didn't actually notice that right off. Queen d1. He's trying to go queen f3. Okay, I got, I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. You got to find a move. Move, 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 move. Um, can't find a move here. Gotta find a move. What? Ah. Can't find a move. Should have just move my king away. Hopefully, I'm not hanging the house here, but I am. Oh, uh, wait, no, I can take and take and take, and I'm maybe okay. Uh, I guess I go here. He missed queen h3. It's still not trivial. Gotta move, you gotta move. <sighs> just can't come up with the moves here. I'm just missing everything. <sighs> there we go, check. Oof. <sighs> thank you so much to Void, appreciate it. Thank you Void for the 20, thank you to Alfie Brazzers. <sighs> Nobody said it's easy, but the tr but that's how it goes. And now you guys start to see why I don't like playing the serious blitz all the time. Because when you start playing super serious, like you'll notice I'm not even talking now. Like I'm I'm just that into it. Um like I'm just being super quiet. I think E4 is still playable, right? D4. If I go here, it's okay. It's not the end of the world, but I'm not happy about it. Can probably draw the game, but not more. Oh, wait. I also could have taken an... <coughs> I could have taken and gone E5 too. Hmm. But I'm going to create a wooden shield in the middle of the board, so that should be good at least. Or he's just going to go for the draw. Bishop e6, interesting. I can trade. Go here. I'm going to go a4, a5, of course. He'll probably be up a pawn temporarily. Uh, but again, it's probably not much of a pawn at that. Okay. Um, okay, it goes rook b8. Let me think about this. I can go rook b3, rook a3. And take and play like. Rook b3. I mean, again, very likely a draw, but he has a double stack, which isn't ideal. I mean, this double stack, I should be able to at least draw this, maybe win. Thank you so much to Elysial. <sighs> Let's see, if I take Rook e4, I mean, okay, I've got to take. Okay, takes, interesting. Go here. Oh, but he just says rook c4. Here, a knight d2. Let's go check and take, I guess. Nah, it's just a draw. Or wait, do I have rook b... No, rook b... Yeah. Not, not good. All right, let's play knight f6 again. Play e6. Go here. Hey, there's a Mythian for the 33 months. Thanks so much, a Mythian. Uh, 
All right, bishop e2, right. This is another line. Maybe there's Alessio for the prime. They have Alfie Brazzer with the prime. Matt Boyle with the prime. Jean Zuko with the prime. David Luiz with the prime. Ho Jacks with the prime. And Big Mac with the prime. Maybe there's a Big Mac. They have Karam with the prime. Deco XB with the prime as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Garuja is better than Daniel. Well, I mean, obviously. What kind of stupid question is that? They play as A4. Now I can take and take. I mean, Ali Reza is a 2,800 player. Like, Daniel is great, but, I mean, Daniel is not 2,800. Like, <laughs> you guys crazy? <laughs> I mean, like, I, I mean, we all love Daniel, but let's, let's be serious. I guess I'll take and take. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, Farouk is world number four, and you're like, I mean, Ali Reza is better than Daniel. That's not a hot take, you guys. That's, like, not a hot take. <laughs> You guys are just hilarious. Botez is better than both. I agree with that. That's that's a that's a fair take. Um, okay, this is getting interesting. I can play e4. It's actually a very interesting position. I, Queen b6 and knight e3 is probably one of the safer ways to play this. I should probably finish my development if I can. Um, knight f4. I'm just gonna take and take. Not the dream, but I think it's okay. What am I up here temporarily? I have, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He is one, two, three, four, five, seven, six on four. So I'm up two pawns temporarily, but it's not the best two pawns you'll ever see in your life. So I'm going to go here on bishop b7 and just play a very basic, simple chess. I assume I'm better here. If I, my math is right, right? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Yeah, it's six. It's five on four. So go here to hit the b shop. Then I have queen g5. I also have f3. I mean, this should be good. Yeah, I'm, I'm up materials here. Thank you so much to JJ Brown with the prime. Thank you so much to JJ Brown. Now, I can play F3 if I want. It's, it's, it's definitely a pretty solid move to play. Is it the best move? Unclear. Very unclear whether it's the best move. But you know what? It's in the spirit of Blitz to play it, so I'm going to play it anyway. Yeah, I go check. And then, like, Rook C8 and Queen F4. And I mean, I assume I'm better here. I just don't know if I'm much better or a little bit better. Because I've got this gigantic B shop on... On B7, it's just gigantic here. It's massive. Rook E1, I mean, the Rook C5 consolidate everything. I can stack now. I mean, I just assume this pawn. I, I just assume this pawn is too weak here. But I could be completely wrong, of course. Bro, why is chess.com always out? I don't know, you guys. Like I said, I have I hadn't had many issues at all um, until kind of this morning when it felt like I started having some issues again. But I mean, look, chess is popping off. What more do you want me to say? Um, queen e2. Let's be careful that there isn't some... It's going to go h6 here. Because I just don't... I don't want to get ice skater on the back rank somehow, magically. I mean, queen e3, queen f6. And then rook c8. And I, I think I'm better here, but we'll see. Knight c6. I just take. Okay. Er, wait a second. There are no guarantees here, but hey, is Dubov the goat of chess? Dubov is a phenomenal player. Phenomenal player. Bishop c2, I don't understand. What's that doing? I'm just going to stack. Wait, what? Oh, he wants bishop h7. What's wrong with me? Am I that bad at chess? Wait. Wait. Do I have knight f3? Wait. Knight f3, knight f3, rook c3 is good. Knight f3, rook f3? Yes. Or wait, knight f3, bishop e4? Bishop e4, queen e5? Ooh, this is spicy. Spicy, spicy, dicey, dicey. Um, yeah, let's go for it. I also have knight d2 after, but bishop e4 takes knight d2 is also good. But bishop e4, there's queen e5, because queen e7 runs into the ice skater. But I think queen e5 is winning. But I think, I think everything is good here. I can also just trade. He's got no time, right? Yeah, he's got no time. So, so I'll just go for the clean, safe way, where I'm just up upon an endgame, and without any time, there's just no chance. Go back. <gasps> oh my god, did I really just do that?
Jeez, I'm, I can flag him, but that was horrible. <laughs> so bad, just so bad by me. I mean, that was ridiculous. I'm just winning, I'm coasting, and then I flub it all up like a total moron. Okay, let's get going. Back to the basics. He's playing the Owens defense, which of course I played. No, I mean, that was terrible by me. Like, I get that I flagged him, but that was pathetic. Pathetic, pathetic. No, no, no other words describe it. It was just that bad. I heckin' love chess. Yeah, we all heckin' love it. Okay, d5. Um, I believe e5 is fine. Because knight e4, I think I have knight... Okay, it goes knight to 7 I believe knight f4 is correct. Thank you so much to Russian OG Live for the Prime and Surf the Wave. Thank you, Stefan K, for the $5. Big shout out to nearly 30,000 of y'all who are watching on this fine Monday morning, Monday afternoon. Hope you guys are doing well. This match will get a few views on YouTube. Yeah, this match will be going up right away. Um, I might, I might, I, I, I don't know, I might do something. I might do like, give some commentary on it. Um, and also take, Knight H5 is a move here. I know Bishop A6 is not a good move. Or it's, it's definitely not the move that I would, that I, that I've played. But I, again, like, I'm wasting all my time talking like a moron. Okay, let's just... Queen G4 takes... Yeah, Queen G4 and Queen G7 should be fine. I think this is good. I could be wrong. I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, I do have 96 maybe. I have 96, queen e6, queen e7 trade, 95. I mean, but again, I'm winning this match very cleanly so far. So why do I want to be ridiculous and gamble for no reason? Like, why do I want to be silly and gamble? So let's take with the knight. Like, there's just, there's no good reason for it. Um, I think f3 is the right square. So I think I can go B3 and C4. Go B3 and C4 here. That's my plan, at least. I could have played C4, but takes, take... Uh, I should have played C4 first. Okay, he still goes C6, I go C4. I mean, it's, he can't really castle. His king side is a little bit shaky at best. Let's go here, stop knight before. I don't want him trading pieces. Bishop G5 is a good move. I'll take, I'll play rook C1. Pressure on the... Massive pressure on the C file down the road, but... Okay, um, let's go here and stack, I guess. Still should be good for me, but I'm not as thrilled with the position as I was. Some moves back. Wait, if I take... Knight c6. I don't know. I mean, this looks like a free pawn. I just go rook c1. I miss queen d2, which, of course, Ali Reza saw instantly. Go a4. My rooks are guarded, but they're not great. Knight b8, logical. Now, obviously, trade. I can play rook d1. Actually, rook d1 makes a lot of sense to hit the queen because I can go knight f4. I should be. be I should just be better here. Seems pretty clean. Like it's just a clean extra pawn here with knight f4. Next move. Queen c2. I go knight f4. Trade some knights. And play for d5. I mean, it's looking very, very peachy for me. Knight c6. If I go d5, he has knight e5. I don't love it. d5, knight e5, queen g3 is interesting. But queen g3 first actually makes sense to... Rook d3 makes sense. Okay, but I... I... Rook c1 hangs knight d4. Don't want to burn through all my clock here. So let's see. I'm just going to go here. I have D5. D5 is my big, big idea. I'll just play H3 here. No, I can't take it. So I just go back. 
I think I'm just gonna play default. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust trust my instincts. This is just good for me. Uh, let's go here, I guess. I mean, with the extra pawn, I, I assume with the extra rooks on the board, this should be just great. Oh, what? Oh, my. Oh, I'm. What is that? Ay, ay, ay. I just go blind for one move. Yeah. All right. Hilarious. Yeah. All right. I'm stopping after this game because that's a clear sign that I'm. Uh, I'm starting to lose my mind. That's a clear sign. I mean, I was completely winning. Yeah. Was, all right. This is going to be the last one. No more. <laughs> yeah. That was so bad. Um, think about this. Pretty sure takes and knight c6 is correct. <laughs> you can't unsee that? Yeah. No, this is the last one. Because that's just a clear sign that I'm just starting to like miss things. Play Magus, I challenge Magus. We've already been through this, you guys. Um There's knight e4 and c3, actually. Wait, if I go check. Goes b3, interesting. I can go a5. I think a5, a4 is a decent idea here. Play knight d6. Or do I go back to f6 and play knight d5? It's a lot of options. a4 is also maybe a move. But okay, I mean, I, I think I should just be smart here. Maybe I should have gone to d6, but whatever. I think knight d5 is okay. Or bishop b7. Let's go here. Trade and then bishop b7. Should be fine. Eh. Yeah, it's getting a little bit sketchy. That last game was so so absurd. How did I do that? Let's just go a4. I mean, I, I also here I was probably fine if I played played this a little bit differently, but whatever. <sighs> okay, of course I take. He takes. I go here to attack the knight. Gonna move the knight back to e5 or d4. I mean, I have rook c8 and rook c5 probably, which should be okay. It takes, which is interesting as well. If I take and play... Wait a second. Of course, I'm, I'm like suddenly can't think anymore. Yeah, suddenly I just can't think. Yeah, it's something I just can't think. What the heck's wrong with me? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Ugh. Yeah, it's not a tilt. I just, I, I just suddenly can't think. My brain has just stopped working altogether. <laughs> Bye bye rating. I mean, if I was cared about my rating, I wouldn't be playing Holly Reza to begin with, uh, because there's 3078. So, okay, I just move quickly and hope. The good news is that my position is actually much much easier for me to play than it is for Ali Reza, because he's the one who has to prove an advantage here, not me.
Like, this is the good thing, is that for, for me, I just sit. Tough game. Oh. Meant to go D4. Never mind. Let's play C4. You know the Debilla is saying a little daughter. I did say last one, didn't I? I did say last one. What the fridge? <laughs> I said <laughs> I said last one. It's like, hmm, I guess that's not true. <laughs> Just two more. Two mower. Yeah, I agree. Two mower. Uh, let's play bishop e3, I guess. The standard so far, nothing crazy. D4 is always a move. Um, it's not the best move, but I think it's decent, so I'll play it. Hopefully, it's not a blunder. I don't think it is. I think there's a badger lock for six months. Last win, no win, no stop. Yeah, last last win, no win, no stop. No. I think I was also supposed to take with the queen, but so, so be it. Um, okay, I think here 94, is it 94? I don't even remember how this line goes. E3 should be fine. Oh. I think C5 was winning. A, yeah, C5 was winning a piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, I am going to be stopping in a second because now I'm actually just outright just blundering everything under the sun. C5, C5 and Knight's 4 I think was just winning on the spot. Pathetic. Let's go. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, go here. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm just trying to just outright just miss stuff. Like I hung the rook that last game. The last game I should have lost. Like. I think I'm just gonna flatten the board, make a draw, and just just move. On, just get out of dodge because this is terrible by me. I could have just traded rooks too. Why didn't I just trade the rooks? Hmm. Hanging the rook was priceless. Yeah, it's like I, I didn't even see it. <laughs> okay, wait. Bishop, I know I can trade. What would L Magnus do? He'd probably go bishop f1. So I'll play bishop f1. What an L Magnus would play. Because knight a5, I do have bishop b6 or something. Okay, it goes f5. Now, I can obviously take and draw, but drawing is not being a shark, so I'm going to go rook c8. Go here. Trying to do something, but... Okay, I'll go here. I mean, I am better, which I guess is the one good thing. Like, I am slightly better here, I think. Um, I don't know if I should play h4. I think I'm gonna go. Something to do. Now, oh, what am I doing? I should just make a draw and get out of dodge. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna make the draw and move on. I mean, I guess he could take with a pawn, but at this point, I think we've both played so many games, there's just, like no realistic chance. Okay, one more. One more for the road. And I do mean it, actually, this time. Because that'll be 16 games, which is a good number. One more win now. He's going to play bishop d2, so knight c6, of course. All right, rook c1, and try to remember how this line goes. I think it's bishop a6 and then bishop e7, if I remember this correctly. 
There's also 94, which is which is lurking in the air too. 94 is is a move here, but I don't think it's the best move. So I'm just gonna play. 94 is decent, but I'm just gonna go bishop e7, c5, rook c8. Just very very simple slow chess. Um, knight d5. B3 logical. C5 of course. It goes like king f2. I have knight b6. Pretty stable position for both sides. I assume I play rook a c8. The other rook made sense too, but I think this is the correct rook. This game also, unfortunately, is heading a little bit towards a drawish position. I play c4, knight c4, knight b6. Yeah, this is also heading very much towards a draw. I'll, I'll, uh, I don't want to play c4, but it's the move, I think. Yeah, that's... Knight b6 and bishop a3. And I mean, all roads are leading to a draw. See, even blitz is boring. Even blitz. Even blitz is, is, is a draw. It's not just classical chess, contrary to popular opinion. Daniel wants to play bullet. He's asked me to play bullet after I've literally just played like 500 games of blitz. That's not happening. <laughs> he, 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 he wants me to play... I mean, maybe wait no maybe I can play on I have bishop c5 wait maybe I have wait maybe I've got a little something maybe I got a little something something here wait 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 maybe I have something here this is not hmm maybe I have something here I think I might have a little something Thank you so much to JJ Passant. Thank you so much to um, Devils. Yeah, I go here to hit the knight. And then I go bishop b4 and I eat the pawn. Wow, really? This is... Uh, I go... I mean, I feel like there should be some tricks here. Yeah, bishop b4, he had rook b1, those of you who are wondering. There really no tricks. Let's go here. Yeah, there are just no tricks. I mean, this is the last one, so I'm going to play it out, of course. H4. If I check and play rookie three, let's try it. If I can take and go like rookie three. <laughs> of course, he has king g2 to just draw the game. I'll still try. I mean, I'm up on clock, so why not? I, I should not be able to lose this. If I can lose this, that's my own fault that I'm so bad at life. Um. He's making a little bit of a hash out of this, though. Oh, did I? I did actually just blunder a pawn. Okay, now I, now I just have to force the draw. And I'm not going to flag him because I have too much respect for him. Or... Wait, what did I just do? Did I just blunder? <sighs> I did just blunder. Rook f3. Yeah, knight e4 is not going to get it done. Knight, knight, knight f5 was... Or g6 was getting a little bit tricky. Oh, can I check and go bishop d4? Bishop d4, c6, rook c1, check, and king d3. Still a draw. Okay. That was good. That was good. Yeah.
Yeah, that was good. All right, that was good, you guys. Uh, 9-7, that's, that's a pretty good score. I mean, I should have won by like 10, it should have been 10-6. So I should have won the, I should have won with the two, with the uh, Rooks, but okay, let's play Daniel a few games. Not a lot, but just a few. Oh, where'd the challenge go? Daniel, Daniel's challenge vanished. No, that was good. I mean, it should have been 10-6, but, but still, can I complain? Plus two, plus three. I mean, I was a better player. Still pretty good. Rate Ratings don't matter. Oh, there's a challenge. Play Dan. Wait, finish current game to accept challenge? What? Is Daniel... Wait, what? Daniel? Wait, why can't I play Daniel? I just, he just challenged me. Daniel, standard, one minute. Okay, okay there we go. Good song, good song. Brand new rap. Rap you say ah 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 ah. G four. Oh, what is this? Ay yeah yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. It's getting really ridiculously careless here. Uh, do I break up? No, I don't. Um, let's go. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Check. Hmm. Girl, girl, girl. I don't know why I'm losing my mind. This is how you know I play too much chess, because I really shouldn't be like losing my mind to this song. And I am actually losing my mind. Um, uh, let's go here. What am I doing? Just move, just move, dude. What the heck? Uh, let's go here and take. Um. Uh. uh oops, that's not do it. Um. Yeah, this isn't going to get it done. Yeah, yeah. This... Might have had knight c4. I can't accept a rematch? What the heck? Uh, what? I can't accept a challenge? What? <laughs> I can't accept a challenge? What the heck? The joke? And it says I'm playing, but I'm not playing. Try. <laughs> okay. This is becoming a bit too much. I'm, I'm going to play a few, not many. I'll play like two or three more, but not many, because this is, this is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I literally set a challenge and I can't play him. This is pr I'm probably going to lose here, too, because I'm playing so ridiculously here. Interesting.
Uh, now I just hang this too. <sighs> yeah, what am I doing? Okay. Yeah. I mean, if I trade the rooks first, I would have won that game, but whatever. Come on. No, what is... What is this? No, 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 it's not. There's actually, like, a problem with the site. Finish the current game? What? No, what, what the heck is going on? What the... Maybe now it'll work. I sent the challenge. <sighs> Impossible. And every game is slow to start, too. Take six here, there, 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 there. Okay, whatever. I don't have time to think. Okay. Let's hit the rematch button. Rematch. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Like, seriously. Okay, yeah. I mean, this is too much. I, I can't do this. Like, this is going to kill me. This is going to kill me when every game literally gets a board. Like, I mean, I just can't do it. This is too much. Yeah. I, I mean, because the problem is, like, what it also does, you guys, is, like, you get 30 seconds a minute of being angry and frustrated, which, of course, ruins the flow for both players. You're just like, what the heck's going on? So, frustrating, but, it, yeah, it's what it is. All right, we'll play another time. I mean, yeah, we'll play another time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're having problems with scale, and they've had to limit. They're still getting overloaded. Like, I, I mean... It, has the entire world just, like, lost its mind? I, I mean, like, I'm not even joking. Has the entire world lost its mind? Like, how are they still overloaded? How are they getting more people signing up every day than they were a week ago? Like, I don't understand it. How, how, how is it even possible that they're still, that, like, they're getting even more signups? No, I'm not trolling. Um, I'm, I'm not trolling. They're, they're getting more signups than they, they were even a week ago. They have like 7 billion users. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't even understand it. No, I mean, everyone's getting, well, not everyone's getting mad YouTube subs, but even I've gotten like probably like 300,000 in the last two months. I mean, yeah, it's not, you know, a million point two or whatever that Levy's gotten, but still like it's, it's, it's insane. Um, thank you so much to the for the, for the 10, thank you to me, well, thank you to Nomad HK. Appreciate it. All right. I think I'm going to do some Reddit then. So let me pull up my Reddit. Um, and we'll go from there. So give me one second, uh, and we'll do that. I'm not logged in because I haven't logged in on this computer, but it is what it is. All right, let's do some. Uh, let's do some Reddit. Okay, here we go. All right, let me stop. Let me adjust the scene. Away we go. Let me stop the music too before I lose my mind. Not that I'm not already losing my mind, as you saw from me hanging the rook against Ali Reza, but uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do some Reddit React. It's been it's been a hot minute since we've done it, so let me make this a little bit wider. Put this here, and away we go. Bigger. All right, you guys. 
let's do some Reddit React. So let's do top uh, for this month. Here we go. All right, let's do Reddit React. Number one, upvote this to test Hikaru's innocence. This is what? This is the typical five. Oh, it's still off. Or, or wait, no, no, this is normal. This is the board is, is chopped on the edge. Um, so five kings and one queen. Very funny, you guys. You think that I haven't seen this before? Thank you. Okay. Next up, what do we have? We have true. We have the six queens I promoted. My opponent's king and still me. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. There's a lot that I could say about this picture, but I, I will refrain because we're not in gossip mode today, so I will refrain from saying anything about this picture. Next up, we have Hikaru's Hikaru uh, light skin stare. Okay, what is this? Let's let's play it. Is the sound too loud? Oh my god. Seriously? It's not, no, no, it's not cut off, is it? Is it cut off? Oh, it is cut off, sorry. Okay, let me adjust the scene just a little bit. That is absolutely horrifying. I'm not gonna lie, that is horrifying. Let's watch it again. That, that, that is horrifying. That is absolutely horrifying. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, all right. Huh, next up we have Mittens IRL. Okay, what is this? Okay, thank you. Oh, I can't upvote, sorry. Okay, let's let's go. E4, okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny the way it just wipes the pawn off the board. I like it. I like it. That's good. That is what Mins does. It just wipes you off the board. Uh, that's a good one. Okay, next up, we have Chess Player's Party Hard, I guess. What is this? Hikaru brings the Pepsi. Dania brings the Coke, or not Dania, sorry. Levy brings the cocaine. Dania brings the Coca-Cola. Bring some Coke to the party. Oh my God, okay. Next up, what do we have? We have, he missed dinner in two moves. Hikaru realizes he blundered his morning breakfast. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's from India. Next up, what do we have? We have... I saw, I met Hikaru in Almaty, Kazakhstan. He was nice to me and happily gave an autograph. Yes, yeah, so this is a picture of me from Kazakhstan, of course. A big shout out to his fan. I assume this is egg, cell, egg cellulant. Um, big shout out to him. Of course, this is, this is a nice picture um, from one of the moments that I was happy. Because on the final day of the Blitz, I was not actually happy. This is not Noterbeck, no. Um, but good picture. Next up, we have Chess in Ohio. What is this? Have I seen this? I don't think I've seen this. What? No, no, we, we've seen this, right? I've already seen this one. I've already seen this one. We saw this before. Okay. Next up, we have 500 to 1,000 ELO games be like people who resign when they realize that they're in a bad position. People who let the game play out so their opponent gets the satisfaction of a checkmate. People who see a bad position and don't make a move for seven minutes to lose on time. <laughs> okay. Okay, good one, dude. Next up, we have mate is forced. What mad stuff do you do? One e3, two king e3. That is mad. Do you want to lose? I meant king e2, f something. Ha ha ha. But yes, I like to live dangerously. I'll play the bond cloud, and if you beat me first, first round's on me. I used to play chess a lot as a kid. I even have the questionable title of being the second best girl in the Netherlands at one point. The context is that there were only five girls competing. LOL. All right. Um, next up, what do we have? Guys, what are we up to? What is this? OnlyFans top 1%. Okay, funny. 
It is what it is. Next up, what do we have? Matt Bro, Magnus B. Wild. We have It's Not a Fair Competition. What is this? Didn't compare me to that guy. Is a, uh, that guy is a full time streamer. True. Like, if you didn't know, I'm not even verified. Like, how could I possibly have more views than? Not a fair competition. It's like when we play in chess tournaments and I'm a professional chess player and he's a professional streamer. <laughs> It's always good to see this one. This one's always good to see. Yeah. Yeah, this one this one this one's always a good good meme. I always I always like seeing seeing that. Okay, what is this? Hikaru tries to calculate a conversation with Magnus. Okay, next up, what do we have? We have, my friend hits a brilliant move. If you're leaving tomorrow, you should let me take you out for some dinner tonight. Double X slam. I would love that. Where were you thinking? I can try to get reservations at this cute restaurant, Forage Public House. It sounds cutesy. I trust your judgment. This is your city. Gosh, now I'm glad I brought, I, I brought a nicer dinner outfit. Um, okay, why is this funny exactly? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Why is this funny? I mean, I, I get the double X slam, but I mean, okay. All right, next up, what do we have? I mean, that's pretty much what everyone does anyway. Um, yeah, I, I, I got this position in chess.com. How do I save my king? I mean, that's what you say. It's always like, you know, that's what you say. You say, do you want to go, do you want to go out and like, you know, grab to dinner? Or do you want to go to the arcade or, you know, what, whatever it is? Like, this is not exactly rocket science, you guys. Um, people need to touch grass. Got this position in chess.com. How do I save my king? Um, this is what the guillotine, and there's a king and two rooks here. Again, some French, some French style thing, and it is what it is. I guess arcades, arcades don't exist anymore, right? Arcades are so like, I mean, back when I was back, back when I was like, back when I was uh, young, like these sorts of things did, did exi exist, but they don't anymore. The new king of the jungle is here. 4,000 ELO Alpha Zero. 4,000 ELO Stockfish. One ELO Mitten. Okay. I think I've seen this one too, but it's all good. Next up we have, I was playing chess with my Nintendo and it played the Bond Cloud. Now this, in the old video of me, I don't have those videos on my computer, so I can't pull it up, but I believe that there was a video of me playing this version of chess. Or no, it wasn't this version of chess on the Nintendo when I was in Japan years ago, but, um, but still pretty cool nonetheless. There, there's a video of me playing, playing something. What is this? Levy is arguably better at pre-move than Hikaru. So someone made another meme. What is this? Oh wait, sorry. Let me unmute it. I'm gonna go here and here and here and here and here, and then it's this and this and this. <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was not expecting. That. I was expecting Levy to get the win. Actually, that that's that's pretty funny. I was expecting Levy to get the win. Um, nice. Next up we have, but like, how does the knight move? So the knight just jumps over everything. We've seen, seen something similar to this. What do we have? Me and my friend made a chess board and set at school since they took away our phones. Now, this is pretty wild. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys a little, uh, little story. So all the way back, um, this would have been, I think around 2001, around the time that I was trying to become a grandmaster, I actually... Um, I actually, on a piece of paper, I drew the chessboard with the pieces in the square. I didn't do cut out of the pieces, but I did this. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys even better what it is. Like, I remember specifically because the position that I drew on the, on the, uh, on the, on the board, let me just click a random game of mine. Um, I will show you guys what it was, was it was this line with E4, C5, Knight, C3. It was a G6, F4, D6, Knight, F3. I believe it was Bishop G7. Bishop c4, knight c6, d3, e6, castles, knight g7, queen e1, castles, f5, d5, bishop b3, c4. And now the line gets very sharp because normally it goes like takes, takes, f6. And then you can either take or you can take on f3, go takes, queen d4, queen g7, etc., etc. 
Um, and so this actually jogs my memory where I was, I was looking at this. I drew out the diagram that I was writing down the notation of the possible variations. Now, this is also worth noting, even though the board's cut off, this is also worth noting because I had something very similar to this. When I made my first Grandmaster Norm in Bermuda, I played a game, game against Bartlomir Machea from Poland, and the game ended in a draw, but we had this variation as well. Anyway, nobody asked, so back to the Reddit, let's get going. Next up, we have... Um, we have Hikaru is about to hang his 5,000th pawn on chess.com. Hanging pieces. Pieces you left hanging. Pawn. 84.8%. 49.99. 5,000. 5,000 hanging pawns. Pretty solid. Next up, what do we have? We have Tis But a Scratch. When you're losing horrifically, but your opponent blunders stalemate. All right, we'll call it a draw. Nice. Okay, let's keep going. Um, uh, how, how do you remember all your games? Well, I have another story about a game that I played against somebody else, which we'll talk about shortly. We have GM Mittens. So this is Mittens with the King Nice. This is nice artwork. This is pretty solid. I like the art. Great detail. This is, this is, this is, this is top notch. I like it. Very well done. Although actually the pawns are a little bit wrong. Not, not to critique the art, but these two pawns are the same, but this pawn in the middle here is too small. So that is the one critique. The pawns should all be the same size, but overall, very good. Oh, it's AI art? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's just AI. Okay, whatever. Who cares, son? Um, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Next up, we have Super Grandmasters. I fear no man, but that thing, mittens, it scares me. Mm -hmm. Typical meme. We've seen this before. Next up, what do we have? We have why, why he can never compete with Naka. Mag is calling mittens a transparent marketing trick and soulless computer. No fun allowed. Yep, true. Next up, we have License to draw. We found the next James Bond. <laughs> this is a good one. Was this yesterday, by the way? Was this on, is this Anish yesterday when Richard made a blunder or not? Because Anish had a very funny look in his face when um he had a very funny look on his face when Richard made the blunder. It's not from yesterday. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'll tell you what this is. This is Anish looking down and looking up, and he's like, "What the heck is this opening? Whoever played it, or it's like, what the heck was this opening? Or how did you get such a bad position? It's the so what, what are you doing, dude? Look from Anish here. All right. Next up, we have do-it-yourself chess hacks. Be like um, paying for chess lessons, marrying a GM for free chess lessons. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, again, we, we, don't go, we don't go down this path, but there are stories of, of uh, things along these lines. Um, anyway, next up, let's see. We have, is it true? You can't defeat me. I know, but he can't wait. You can't defeat me. Um, I know, but he can. This is Eric, and I honestly don't know who this is behind him, and this is Levy, and there's me, and I don't know which Avengers movie or Marvel's movie or whatever. What? Or wait, no, is this... Um, oh, this is Kate Blanchett, actually. This is Thor, right? This is actually Thor, right? Because Kate Blanchett plays like the evil queen or something with the spiky stuff. So it, 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 is, it is Thor. Okay, okay. All right. Next up, what do we... Er, Whoops, it's not what I meant to click. Next up, what do we have? We have, um, pfft, let's keep going. Next up, we have, uh, we have <laughs> leaked. Yes, I leaked some stuff. We have Hikaru be like, so be it. Uh, Hikaru when he pre-moves the entire game. There we go. Leaks, deep fakes, exactly, yeah. Um, <laughs> then he, next we have Hikaru when he pre-moves the entire game. There is Hikaru here, and we have Pre-moving the entire game to rookie one weight. We have Hikaru when his chess bot moves instantly. That leak was big, so what? Nobody cares. Uh, what do we have? Elo Gato destroyed my ego thinking it has one Elo. Biggest betrayal, that guy does not have one Elo. Next up, what do we have? We have 400 Elos playing chess. We have, what is this? WBC. There are two people here playing chess with pool sticks. What is this? Very weird. Um, but next up, what do we have? We have best opening name, and this is playing the hyper accelerated Sicilian dragon because it's a strong variation on the Sicilian defense. We have playing the accelerated Sicilian dragon because cool name. All right. What's up next? Next up, we have a juicer. Ooh, nice. We have the juicers on the pineapple shirt. What is this? I'm trying to look. This, can I can I zoom in? Let me control plus it. Um, oh, I can't. What is the brand? It is Sonoma or something. 
$9.99. I mean, the qual it looks nice, but the quality is probably sketchy, right? Anyway, next up, what do we have? Let's go back. We have Growing Pains. I get kicked out of my house. What happened to my cam? My cam just froze. Um, one second. Uh, what just happened? Did my cam really freeze again? This is not good. I had this happen yesterday. One second. Let me unplug and replug you guys. All right. Oh, that is a little bit frustrating, you guys. A little bit frustrating. I get kicked out of the house because I made it my Jeff. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a cord, but something's happening. I had this happen yesterday when I was recording a video off stream. So I just unplugged and replugged. I don't know if that's a problem with like the uh, with the USB port on the computer or what's going on. But um, anyway, I get kicked out of my house because I made it my GF and fork. Friend tells me about some guys, some guys named Mongoose Coarlson and Hickory Nicaragua or something. Okay, dude, whatever. Um, it's a problem because you're using USB. Yeah, I should get a proper capture card. I'm using the cam link thing. I've, I've used it for years, um, but maybe on a new computer, there's some, some issue. Anyway, best AI to play chess with. Um, this is too small. I can't read it, but what's it saying? Okay says let's play chess together you don't uh, you can't see it all you don't need to draw me the board i can do it in my head i'll start pawn e4 sure i'd be happy to play chess, chess with you i'll be white and you'll be black my pawn is now at e4 your move okay e4 e5 d4 e takes d4 i'm sorry but that move is not legal in chess pawns can only move forward one space on their first move and can only attack diagonally what too bizarre next up what do we have we have Next up, we have, I'm just as surprised as they are. We have me showing my friends my brilliant move. I got it by accident. What is this? Oh, very nice. What do you think? Oh, very nice. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 don't get, I don't get the meme because I didn't watch America. This is American Psycho, right? So I, I don't get the meme. It's knight takes e4 because queen e4, queen f2 is winning. Um but yeah all right next up what do we have me pretending that i don't care so my opponent doesn't notice that i blundered my queen okay all right dude whatever next up hikaru please beat stockfish and bring us back to the top deep blue must have gotten information from a gm hans must have gotten information from a computer okay <laughs> what do we have next if this were to happen reality would collapse on itself on itself the internet when magnus isn't late for an important game magnus okay this is the internet yeah fair enough all right what do we have next we have what a crazy game you won checking for mistakes game review next bot next game all right what's up next we have rate my chessboard we have a uh zebra on g1 zebras are horses are zebras horses? I, I don't, I, I mean, I'm about to say something wrong, probably. Z zebras are horses? That's a zebra, right? No, no, it's, a z it's, got, the, it's got the black stripes. It's a zebra. It, it, zebras are donkeys? Okay, anyway, okay. It's a type of horse? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. Next up, we have so much hate. Should learn theory. The main thing that puts me off of playing chess is that there's 2,000 years of gameplay that hundreds of people with higher IQs than me have spent thousands of hours studying the history of. So much so that when I put the pawn forward, they say, ah, I see you're going for the Bulgarian somersault. And then I try to take their bishop with my knight and they go, ah, rookie mistake. You've played the Frenchman something and approximately 37 moves, I'll have won. Okay, not, not far from the truth. We have next up, we have Beat Bob, gamers after being called a bot. Chess players after being called a bot. Okay. Gamers after being called a bot. Chess players after being called a bot. Right. Next up. Okay. Calculation we've seen. He terrifies me. Bond cloud has been added. Um, what the heck is this? Hikaru's mom, according to Google. 
Oh, geez. Seriously? That's pretty bad. Um, that's pretty terrible. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, big yikes. All right, you guys. <sighs> what can I say? Um, big yikes. Gorillas have never been beaten in chess. What is this? Um, Five-year-old me trying to scare the gorillas to the grass. Okay, what is this? Is C5 a move? I don't know if it is. <laughs> this is good, actually. That's a good one. Trying to... Um, that's, that's really, really good. Really, really good. All right, you guys. I think we're going to stop there. We're going to move on. We have a couple of tweets to cover. So um, what is, let's, let's do some tweets, and then we'll probably call it a day. First up, we have this tweet. Uh, let me adjust the scene just a little bit now since this is where we are. Um, and this is about chess.com. Let me make this a little bit bigger. It's a tweet from chess.com. And what is this tweet? This tweet says that Magnus Carlsen says, I'll get some rest, not play classical chess for a little bit because I'm kind of a little bit sick of it after these few weeks. Um, so yeah, so in, in terms of the... Uh, in terms of this tweet, it's definitely a little bit surprising to see Magnus say this. On the other hand, I completely understand what Magnus is saying because when he says that he's going to get some rest, I mean, it looked like in a lot of games he was struggling to get any kind of advantage out of the opening. It was just a slog for him. Now, mind you, despite all that, he still only finished half a point out of first place. Um, so I think it, so, it sort of speaks, speaks to where his mind is at these days. And I think um, I think for everybody playing classical chess, it just gets harder and harder and harder Um you know, every single, every single year, year after year, it gets more and more difficult. All right. Next up, what do we have? We have, um, we have another tweet. What is this? This one, or this is the second tweet. Oh, let's pull this up. What is this tweet? With this tweet, this is from Mr. Anish Giri, which says, it appears to me that it's smarter to concentrate on classical chess this year. I hope by the end, I'll have a good rating and have qualified to the candidates. That what matters. Anish Giri on his 2023 plans after winning the Tata Steel Chess Masters. Now, that is uh, very interesting um, for Anish to say that that's going to be, that's his focus. I do actually understand for Anish that that should be his focus because Anish is a professional chess player. He's not making a whole lot of content these days. And if you're looking at purely as a pro player, you want to make the candidates and play for the world championships. So that makes a lot of sense from Anish and I completely get it. I, I totally, totally get it. So Next up, what do we have? We have, is this the same one? Let me see. Let's see. Next, or this is the same one. So we have one more tweet to cover, which is, there is this tweet from chess.com, which is, at Anya Taylor-Joy tweeted this, then deleted it five minutes later. The Queen's Gambit 2. Now, this is very, very interesting. She apparently tweeted this and then deleted it. Um, I don't know what that means, honestly. I think that it would be very exciting if there is going to be a Queen's Gambit 2. Um, now, whether it's going to be able to get, you know, have the same draw as Queen's Gambit 1 did, who knows? Um, her account was her account was hacked. I don't know. I don't know if it was hacked or not. I mean, everything that I heard in the past was that there would not be a Queen's Gambit 2. But that being said, there has been a new, very big chess boom over the last couple of months. So I do think there is some chance that Netflix saw that. They saw the metrics and, and chess is going big. And there is some chance that they're like, OK, well, we're going to do it. Because, of course, at the end of the day, money is what makes the world go round. Um, so I think there's some chance that it will happen. But we will see if it does or doesn't. Um, that seemed like a pretty well-contained series. I think the series is very good. Trying to make a make another version, trying to have another season of it, is going to be very, very difficult, honestly, um, in my opinion, to make it anywhere near as popular or you know something that is as compelling to people who, who don't play chess. But if it does happen, that would be huge for chess, amongst many other things. Twitter was hacked. Wait, her Twitter was hacked? Oh, no. No, no, no. Does somebody have a link to that? No, you can't be serious. No, you can't be serious. Uh, let, let, let me let me Google it. I, I hope not. Queen's Gambit to uh, Anya Taylor Joy. Let me let me see what Google says. What, what's it say? Let's let's open this one. Um, let's pull this up. Okay. Uh, what's is it in her story? What's it in? What what's it in you guys? Is it in her story? Or no? Here here's uh here's a link. No. Oh no no no. Seriously. Oh, did we all just get debated? Did we just get debated? I hope not, but maybe we did. Um, let's see. Well, let's cover this article quickly. Did we just get debated? Anya Taylor-Joy deletes tweet teasing the Queen's Gambit 2. 
Anya Taylor-Joy returned to Twitter for a brief moment on January 30th with a tweet that teased the Queen's Gambit 2, but has been quickly deleted. Released in 2020 during the pandemic, the Queen's Gambit went on to become a huge hit for Netflix, despite reported hesitation from the top brass at Netflix at the time. Per older metrics no longer used by Netflix, over 62 million Netflix accounts watch at least part of an episode. The drama saw Anya Taylor-Joy play the role of Beth Harmon, a chess prodigy who became the world champion. It's largely considered to be one of Netflix's best shows in history. The show was and is still listed as a limited series, meaning that all seven episodes make up the complete story. Showrunner Scott Frank has spoken publicly about his reluctance for future seasons, saying, I feel like we've told the story we want to tell, and I worry, let me put it differently, I'm terrified that if we try to tell more, we would ruin what we've already told. That brings us to the unexpected Anya Taylor-Joy tweet. The tweet posted at 2.36 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time was only available for around five minutes before being deleted, simply stating The Queen's Gambit 2. This was Anya Taylor-Joy's first tweet since November 2020 when she posted three reaction cat-shocked emojis to the viewership stat Netflix announced. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we're in the dark as much as you on this one. Was it a mistake, an early reveal that's under embargo, or something else? We'll keep our our ears to the ground and update you should we hear something else um wait so what is this more of the queen's gambit is confirmed to be coming to netflix in 2023 what the show is due to return netflix another form in 2023 referring to the game adaptation of the series yes it's chess it's due out on netflix gaming in due course okay um i thought there'd be more but i don't know maybe she was hacked maybe she wasn't hacked who knows? Nobody knows, you guys. No, nobody actually knows what is going on. So uh, it's going to be very interesting. If you were, to, if you were to basically like, you know, ask me what I ultimately think, my gut tells me that um, my gut tells me that probably, probably her account was hacked. That's my gut reaction. But again, she could say that too because if you think about it, if you're filming a Queen's Gambit two, nobody's supposed to say anything. You have to you sign you sign like you know. Uh, NDAs and everything else, you're not able to say anything. So she could have accidentally leaked it, and it's like, okay, we have to come up with a story to cover it. But at the end of the day, it's the fact that she hasn't tweet tweeted since 2020 makes me very skeptical that um it just makes me skeptical that, that it's anything other than a hack. But you know, we will see in due time whether that's true or not true. But my gut is that probably it was uh, probably it was just like it was hacked because if she doesn't post, why would she suddenly post on Twitter when surely there are NDAs and other things? Check her, check her. Her story was this. Okay. My Twitter has been hacked. Apologies for all the inconveniences. It's not me. Okay. Well, there you go, you guys. So I guess it was. Um, it was hacked. So anyway, you guys, on that note, um, I think I'm going to be calling it a day, you guys. It's been a pretty good stream. It's been pretty light, obviously. It's been very up and down. Uh, not Nothing too crazy. Tomorrow, of course, will be t- titled Tuesday Times 2. We're going to have a long stream tomorrow, obviously, like seven, eight hours. So I'm going to be calling it a day. We're going to we're gonna run the outro, and then we're going to then we're gonna send it over to Anna Maya Kazarian. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. We'll be back tomorrow around 11 a.m. Eastern, which would be 5 p.m. Central European Standard Time, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye, everybody. When I see some of these moves that computer suggests after a game that I play, and I just go, wow, that is the beauty for me. Because these are not moves that I would ever consider. And when when I then see the move, and then like I might make a couple of moves to try and understand why, that is the beauty to me. I'm just trying to play as well as I can, and I don't really worry. Like, if I lose a game, it's not the end-all, be-all. I'm not naturally talented, but if I don't get something, I am I try to figure out why don't I get it, what am I doing wrong, over and over and over again.